I think I like road trips on the bike because you can't be in a hurry. You get to encounter things you wouldn't get to otherwise. You can't plan when you'll have a breakdown or when a stranger might come to the rescue, but it eventually works out somehow. The first motorcycle I ever owned was when I had just gotten my degree in photography. I didn't really know how to start my career, so I picked up an 82 Honda CB750K and went on a trip from Indiana to Maine, across the border to Nova Scotia, and then back. I think it was mostly to escape my life working at the local distribution center. I eventually sold that bike to get a Jeep so I could transport all my stuff back home to New York. Warehouse work paid off though, because I used that money to become a dive instructor and guide in the Cayman Islands. When I got back, I sold the Jeep and bought my second motorcycle, which was a 100th anniversary Sportster. I used that one to ride down to Houston, Texas, where I got a job as a diver for NASA's Astronaut Training Center. The motorcycle was a necessity because I couldn't afford the gas to drive a Jeep down there. I eventually had to sell that motorcycle when I decided to move to Salt Lake City. Got a nice Honda Pilot, which I still have, but this past summer in April, I got my current bike, which is a 2016 Harley Roadster. I've done just over 15,000 miles since then, and another Canada trip with some friends. I think I'd like to keep this one for good. I don't see riding and the rest of my life as being two separate events. To me, they're a part of the same storyline. There are a lot of parallels with riding and how my life has played out so far. I see it in the breakdown moments, but also in the cathartic ones as well. To be honest though, when I'm riding in the mountains or to kill an hour, it's mostly because I become more aware. The mountain, the landscapes, all the minute moments in between, they all transform into something worth remembering. I don't think I'm that concerned with how many opportunities I get, more so I hope to be present enough to enjoy them. And I believe writing provides me a language to interpret these moments.